This video is sponsored by Anchor. Look, Sarah, only 2.6 miles to where we plan to camp tonight. Yeah, everyone take note, that says 2.6. Watch, I'll be walking seven miles today. No. <laughs> the whole... Like, I swear it was right here. <laughs> no. Hey everybody, Syntax77 here. We are in the Adirondacks region of New York. And by we, I mean myself, my lovely wife, Sarah, and our eh, jovial dog, Denali. <laughs> he's, in a good, he's in a good mood so far. And we're gonna do a couple days of mountain and lake backpacking, camping, and uh, hopefully relaxing. Sun is out, which is great. And we, uh, eh, we're getting a relaxed start, if you will. It is about uh, 11.37. We're starting from the Clay Meadows trailhead. Well, actually we should be starting from there, but we parked this fishing area down here because there wasn't any parking available there, but we're going to do a short road hike and uh, get this adventure started. But before we get off the grid here, I want to take a minute to thank our sponsor for this trip video, Anchor. I've been out there looking for a power source for the crew up at our off the grid cabin, which doesn't have electricity, and this Anchor Powerhouse 2 800 fits the bill. It's a portable solar generator designed to charge your personal electronics and small appliances wherever you may be. You can also charge it in a vehicle or from a wall outlet. It's got a massive 777 watt hours of runtime. In our case, up at the cabin, our TV, Blu-ray player, and some LED lamps only draw like 70 watts. So we'll have plenty of juice for movie night without the need to run out in the rain and fire up that noisy gas powered generator anymore. It's got eight reinforced corners and you can see it's got a rugged build so it's good for road trips, base camping, and any other adventures like that. It's got plenty of different options for output, two wall outlets, four USB-A, two USB-C, and a car outlet too. Anchor is America's number one charging brand with over 65 million users around the world. And as a thank you to my viewers, you can get $100 off your own powerhouse by using the link in my video description. Now, let's get back into the woods and off the grid. Let's see what we got here. I think this is the actual trail board up here. Got our registration box there, which is typical in the Adirondacks. Put down if you're planning to camp. There's no reservation fee or anything like that needed, but they just like that in case of uh, emergency. So, we're gonna do the Tongue Mountain Loop, as it's known. We're on Lake George right now which is a 32 mile lake uh, and I'm gonna long. I'm going to swim all of it. Sarah's going to swim all 32 miles while I do this hike. <laughs> Ooh, um, it's good. about two or three miles across, so it's long and skinny lake. We're going to do the Tongue Mountain Range, which is a peninsula uh, called so because it looks kind of like a tongue jutting out into the lake. It's about three or four ish miles long, depending on how you measure it, and about two miles wide. And uh, it's got some good camping on it. So, fifth peak lean to. Look, Sarah, only 2.6 miles to where I plan to camp, we plan to camp tonight. Yeah, everyone take note, that says 2.6. Rot, watch, I'll be walking seven miles today. <laughs> no. The whole- like, I swear it was right here. <laughs> no, we got this. The whole mile is, eh, depending on who you believe, hmm. 12, 13, I'd say 13, 13-ish 13. 13 um, miles. It says 14.3, but everyone who did it was like, it's 13. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's a 13 mile loop. Um, so we're smart. We're going to do three miles the first day and, you know, 10 the second. But it seems like where we're going is going to be some really nice camping. That's what um, we're hoping for. If it's that, that's what we're hoping for. We'll see. From looking at the logbook here, length of stay for everybody listed today is just one day, as in a day hike. So I don't think anybody else is um, going to be camping like us. We'll see. We'll see. Unless they haven't gotten here yet, but only we're silly enough to uh, start at noon if we're doing an overnight loop. 
loopity loop. Loopity loop. I put that. That's official hiking terms. Loopity loop. All right, let's do it. Mellow trail so far. We do have some elevation gain to do today because we're sta we're starting right at lake level and we're going to probably climb about a thousand feet to get up to the top of fifth peak where the um camping for tonight <coughs> is hopefully going to be so with some up and downs along the way looking at hmm, roughly maybe 1400 or so feet of gross elevation gain just with the up and downs and then tomorrow once we're up on the ridge it's going to be that same amount of elevation gain stretched out over you know nine and a half miles or something like that so today will be the tougher of the two days especially because this is a dry loop or trail for the most part there's some streams down here but once we start gaining elevation from what i've read don't bank on water so we have a ton of water for us and the dog and cooking and all that you can see sarah's got four and a half liters right there nolly's got a liter on them and i've got eh, maybe a gallon and a quarter gallon and a half something like that might have some fermented grape juice just for emergency emergency cooking, emergency cooking <laughs> and survival you know, if the water runs out. Wine soaked noodles, noodles, drunken noodles. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. <laughs> Getting fancy. Despite all the cars down there, and I do think a lot of them were fishing from looking at that log book down there still. It's pretty quiet compared to that parking lot. clear today might be a little rain around 2 a.m tapering off by the time we wake up and then clear tomorrow except for a little threat of showers say around two or three we got a hotel nearby within 15 minutes so we are able to get out of the woods on our last day as late as we want really no need to worry about driving home right away. Yeah, it's definitely a little wet and muddy. Um, it's the beginning of May. Yeah, about 50-ish degrees, maybe 50, 52. Probably go down to 40 tonight. Nothing too bad. But I think that is what's going to help. What's going to help us probably keep the, some of the campers at bay. I'd say in July or August might not have the same luck getting this campsite to ourselves. Why are you going so far? Where are you going? Tommy! Oh god, nobody! <laughs> She's so beat. Well, obstacle course. Come on. What the heck happened here? A micro burst or something? Yeah, that's a ton of trees in one area that are down. And they look, you know, it's not like they all look like diseased. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Didn't it say 2.6 back there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so whatever we've done didn't count. 1,400 feet in 2.6 miles. That's not the end of the world. At least it's not 1,000 per mile. All right. Don't confuse because I see a blaze there, but the arrows are printing there. Yeah, I believe it's switching the red blazes oh, now. Okay. We're going to follow this trail here. Woo! Oh boy. I saw all that. Nope. Wouldn't want to. Uh, slip off a log with this monstrosity on your back. I How many pounds is that? Two. Who's counting? Yeah. Obviously not me. <laughs> Don't even want to know. Okay. This is a kitchen sink kind of trip. 
I like getting a little workout sometimes, and if you're only doing a few miles. Today. Today. <laughs> tomorrow. Most of my weight is... You have to eat and drink everything. Huh? I was going to say, it's water and wine. So, I guess we're going to have to take care of that today. All the food. Uh-huh. Oh, it may only be 50-something degrees. It feels like 90 to me. Whew. Oh, it feels good when you get that breeze, though. Yeah, yeah the sun's so nice. Yeah. Meditation. Sweating like this, it's hard to imagine it's going to go down to 40 tonight. I'll be cozy in that pack. But, yeah, we got plenty of warm clothes with us as well. That's the thing with these spring trips. Early spring, too. At least up here in the north. Yeah. Temperature is all over the place. It could rain, it could not rain, it could be... Uh, it was snowing last night. No snow for us, hopefully. But last night it was. A little bit around here. Yeah, probably be pretty. Oh, Alright. Pack back on. Oh boy. I get up on that knee. Okay. Looks like we got two more steep sections in front of us. We've only gone about a mile, but it's been uh it's been a mile, it's 1.2 miles. Oh. And uh from looking at the map, we got a push here. Another one. Then a little break for a little bit. And then the final push onto the top of Fifth Peak. Uh, Tongue Mountain, I've seen it written in quotations. I don't know if it's truly, it's not really one mountain. I don't believe. It's a series of peaks along the peninsula. Now whether or not it is one mountain and they're sub peaks or they're their own mountains, I don't know, I guess that's debatable. But it looks like there's five peaks because all I know for sure is up here, we're starting in the north of this long skinny loop and working our way south and then back up. Um, and fifth peak appears to be the northernmost peak. And the last one that we'll hit tomorrow is first peak. And that's down towards the end of the peninsula. And after that, it drops down and we'll actually tomorrow follow the shore of the lake for a good eh, four miles or so nice and flat should be a nice reprieve after we beat ourselves up today it's got a nice organic treat there kerosene organic kerosene <laughs> to get us up that well that and then you got to make a sharp left yeah basically you're gonna turn around and swing from a rope Oh, okay. Like pitfall. Yeah. You won't feel that pack at all. Mmm. <laughs> just lightweight. Okay. Ah. What was I saying? I Only a few miles. Need to get a workout. Uh, you change your mind? You might have changed my mind. Alright. One down, one to go. My wife and dog are winning the race. <laughs> Lean to. Now we have a tent, but we are headed towards the lean-to. That's where there's camp tent, camp tenting, tent camping available. I need it's food. It's happening again. It's happening. Brain is shutting it's down. Aphasia. <sighs> um, yeah, I'm just going to stop trying to narrow it. So you don't know. We'll just walk towards this and then you'll see a pretty see view, hopefully. And I know, I don't trust that this is ever going to open up. These pictures are all green screen. We're definitely setting up a tent tonight. We got a new one to try out for the three of us. But if nobody else shows up, we can at least hang out and lean to. There's no fires on the Tongue Mountain Range except for designated areas. And this is one of them, which is real nice. Oh, beautiful. 
Oh yeah, there's those mountain tops I saw through the trees down there. I <sighs> put the dent right there. Yeah. Just on the rock. I just put an extra towel. I prefer on some grass. Oh wow. So. Right over here, the spot. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. There's uh, Lake George through there side of the shelter we'll come back and see that but I am dying to get a nice view I think we'll do that first maybe claim a tent spot over here if it's possible wow are you serious how's this for you oh, stupid. Come on, baby, turn around. put a tent right around here yeah right here it goes right here <laughs> There's a fire pit out here too. I think I'm gonna take my pack off as well. Yes, you deserve it, Bob. And scout for a nice grassy place to put our new tent. Oh, thank you. I will not put you back on until tomorrow. And we still got plenty of sunshine. 2.10 oh. in the afternoon. Nice, it's lunchtime. Or maybe first order of business is, uh, Not toilet paper. <laughs> the first order of business is now. <sighs> Setting up a nice chair. I brought the same chair as Sarah did on the last yeah. trip this time. The lounger chair. The all white. The best. Especially look at this view. Look at our TV this evening. Got Nolly's little sleeping bag next to it. We'll be in good shape. Okay, the tent we got is a four person tent. It's it's backpacking tent, but it's borderline. Some might call it a, an ultralighter would definitely call it a car camping tent, but it's not really a car camping tent. It's a, it's a backpacking tent, but it's big. It's eight pounds. So, well, maybe seven ish pounds the way we brought it. So like three and a half pounds a piece, not the end of the world, but a lot of space. And um, it works for the three of us. Like we said in the last video, we usually hammock camp, but with the dog, he likes to cuddle, so poles, tent body, tent. And then I have other poles over here. Yeah, that's for the like vestibule area. And you got your backpacker magazine again. Yeah. You gonna New find one. it another secret campsite? No, I've given up on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I don't wanna talk about it. Let's find an official spot to put this tent. So you think right there would be too... A little cramped. Really? Yeah, but I'm thinking what we'll do is the biggest, safest area I've seen in terms of softness, it's not level, but is right here. So I think we're going to put the tent together here and then we'll walk it around to various areas and see, um, you know, where it fits the best and then we'll stake it down. What? <laughs> wants to get an inner thigh workout yeah see it's like the suzanne summers workout the suzanne summers of hiking <laughs> well i mean you finished it did i yeah it's ready to go now popping in the old tent well the new tent that's a marmot uh limelight it reminds me of a friend mike's giant like 12 person tent by marmot um, and I think it basically is just a smaller than that, but quite large for us, four person tent. The only challenge for us was over there on the grass was nice and soft, tucked out of the wind, but super high angle of attack. Uh, we would have been rolling downhill all night. This was the most level spot we could find, um, but it is on top of a moss covered rock face so while we're not really on top of a rock we do have grass it's only maybe an inch or two at the most of topsoil so we had to get creative tie off to some rocks put some tent spikes in at a really shallow angle and uh this is my sherpa over here uh <laughs> yeah you can just put it right there like a surf? ready to pop it in yeah. 
managed to put this in there too, right? In case we need to fill it up. Uh, yeah, because um, when the temp drops, you may find that you want to add another puff right before bed because the air will condense. All right. We're letting this tent heat up in the sun here. It's got double doors on it, or you can go all the way around. Or I should say there's doors on each side, and then you can also open it um, two ways. All right. Slider in. Oh, sorry, buddy. And then... Fit for like a glove. You going that way? Which way? Whatever way you think is good, based on the angle we have. Tell me to go this way? It's either that way or your feet down this end, as long as your feet are lower in your head. Oh gosh, golly, I don't know. I think that looks good. We'll put the dog in between. He'll be a break to keep you from rolling into me. <laughs> and then I'll roll that way. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But as long as we're getting all the stuff in there, we're fine. <sighs> it's almost uh, almost happy hour, Sarah. A little queso. A little chips that you smuggled in. Yep. Where's my bag of food here? We got all like backpacking food this time. I'm looking forward to dinner. Yeah, what is dinner? Dinner? We got to give a big thank you to Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. She has uh, really been enjoying the channel and went way above and beyond. Really appreciate it. She sent out two things from Packet Gourmet because she knew we both loved those. So one is, I've never had this one from them before, the Biggin Burrita. Burrita? The Biggin Burrita? Um, <laughs> Strategery. The Biggin Burrito Strategery. with fajita chicken. And we have some burrito wraps to go with that. And then Sarah has it, but uh, there's a Cajun gumbo that uh, she said was really good too. I think we had that once, but it's wa been a while. Is this the sleeping bag I used with last time? No, that's actually my bag, but it's lighter, so I put it in your pack. See, and that's why your weight is 9,000 pounds. You should give me my own ish. Bro. How are you feeling right now, girl? Listen. Pretty good. Listen, you. And we like to keep it that you way. Know what? Anyway. Yes, yeah, speaking of keeping things good, look at that. We switched it up on the queso. We went Blanco. Blanco. I thought it looked different. Yeah, it's the Blanco. But we'll heat that up later. That's going to be a nice happy hour. In, a lunch. I don't know. When you're hiking on these weird schedules, it's, it, none of it makes sense. You just eat whenever you're hungry. It's getting a little windy. I don't know how we're going to stay warm around here. Oh. All right. Then there's that. Oh, boy. Look at you. You're looking good in your little dog jacket there, Nolly. And you seem to be tolerating it, so far at least. He seems comfortable with it. You know what else is working out pretty well? A little budget canister stove and some queso. Just uh, put some queso in the zip top. <laughs> Love these little containers. Never had one leak on me. Great for backpacking. Do like pancake mix in there sometimes too. Dry pancake mix and then shake it up with water. But, oh man, we're bubbling. I think I'm gonna shut this off. Yeah. And then I'll put the lid on. And this uh, cook pot is a budget cook pot too. Little Malami guy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, lid on. Get ourselves some chips. Appetizer time. Oh, good. Okay. Don't forget you have hot sauce too. And he complains that his pack's too heavy. Just a small container. <laughs> I'm saving it for the burrito. Burrito. A little more clouds in the sky. I guess that's our 2 a.m. rain. All right, that was a good happy hour. Time to do some work though, Sarah. You know what, the bugs are coming out because the wind stopped. Yeah, we've been having some wind come and go. It really makes the temperature difference. And it is still right now. But we're going to take a look around, look for some firewood, 
got the uh, silky F-180 saw little folder uh, works pretty well packs down nice and I figure maybe we'll do a little tour of this shelter feels like the mountain is ours you can see the water through there oh, there's a rack over here Sarah that people have brought up over the years I'm sure and there's even a spatula what used to be a cooking pan some sticks for weenies or did you just say weenies yeah weenies oh. or s'mores and this is dash oh damn look someone oh well that's not good chili with no beans that's been eaten alive by mice that probably should be thrown in the fire tonight it's just attracting critters so here maybe that's a backup or maybe somebody who would forget a sleeping bag. I don't know. Huh. And a water bottle. Trail book. Dual fire pit. Oh yeah. Nice. Somebody thought this fire pit wasn't good enough. Now, over this way I saw plenty of firewood, so we don't have to go far, yeah. Over by what I thought was a bear box. Convenient place to put our food without hanging a bear uh, bag tonight, which I'm not really worried about bears here, but you still want to get your food in the air. So little critters, chipmunks, squirrels, etc., fox, raccoon, whatever, doesn't rip it open. So you can imagine my surprise earlier when I decided to see how much capacity this food storage area had. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the opposite of food storage. But anyway, I think this is uh, going to be... bring this log? That thing looks pretty rotted out <coughs> and huge. So we just bring it up. I don't think it'll burn that well. Why? It's rotted. Does rotted shit not burn well? If it's wet rotted? I didn't touch it. I don't know if it's wet. How is one supposed to know these things? All right, so we're gonna, let's look around. We can just take this one. No, we're not gonna burn the <laughs> toilet. Um, <laughs> we'll look around right now and um, we'll find some small sticks. How about you look, Sarah, for small sticks? Just start picking up small sticks for, you know, getting the fire started, tinder basically. And then I'll, there you go. I'll look around for something that we can put the salt to use on. Well, once the fire is going good, where I'm at right now is pretty easy to move around in, and it's just below camp, um, which means it's the easiest place to pick clean. There is some nice stuff, but I'm looking for some big, chunky stuff that I can really cut up. Although, this ain't bad. We can drag this out. Some good starter stuff, but... I'm looking for something for after sundown, you know, some fireplace logs, something already dead, definitely not going to take down a live tree for uh, ethical reasons, but even beyond that, green wood doesn't burn effectively anyway. So we need something that's down, but hasn't been sitting and soaking up water and getting wet rotted which i'm finding a lot of that um around here so i'm thinking maybe on this other side where it gets more sun and it's a little less obvious on the other side of camp you might find some stuff that people haven't already gone through come on bud This is snake country. We don't need you running around like that. Where's your mother? Oh man, look at that. This is some medium stuff. I brought more than you. I bet you did. Oh, look at your starter pile. That's, yeah, you did better than me, sir. I wasn't finding exactly what I wanted down there. I think I'm gonna go down here. Where less people go. Look at 
look at this even if there's no firewood <laughs> this is cool uh, if you had a little single person tent this would be your secret campsite sarah look at that Uh, I think the tent's staying where it is, but this looks cool. Ours is a little big for down here, and this is on a pretty <laughs> steep angle now that I look at it. It's beautiful though. Right? This is a great view. So the tongue, the peninsula, goes down that way. And these are the other five peaks rolling down there. And then tomorrow we come down, around, along. What you can't see over there is on the water up the lake. No firewood, but a heck of a view. I'm glad we came down. Beautiful view. Wow, look at those currents in the water. Oh wow. I guess where depth changes. Cool. Not bad. What we really need right now, if you can hear me over the wind, is some flat rocks because this fire pit, eh, it's not much of a pit. It's a circle of small rocks. No wind blockage whatsoever. And if you can tell by the audio, we need some wind blockage. So I hate to say it, but we gotta find some rocks now, girl. Cool hand Luke, bust them rocks. Find rocks? We're on a rock. Now that is a perfect wind blocking rock. Flat, not too heavy. So I don't feel like carrying it that far if it's heavy. And it'll block some wind rocks on each side to get it wedged in. Rinse and repeat. Now that looks way better. I can deal with that. A little fire starter in the middle. Twisted fire starter. And Sarah's pine cone. Art artistry. Let's see if we can light this. Oh, that wind is ripping. Oh, oh, we got a break in the wind. Keep going. Go, go, go. All right, if the pine cone goes and it just catches that fire starter, they are pretty good in the wind. You know what? You just sit there quietly. You're getting it. Look at you go. Nolly, you good? Are we on speaking terms? I mean, you got a jacket, you got a blanket, you got food, you got water, you got a fire right there. Strategically placed so the embers don't go towards you. Good boy. He was tired, huh, bud? Look at that. Show me up, Sarah. Right. You want to know why? Why is that? I'm a Girl Scout. Still? Uh -huh. Troop. Oh my God, do I remember my troop name? I mean, if you're an active member, you better. Oh man, the brownie troop. I feel like there was an eight, there was a five, there may have been a two. We'll put a link here. Oh no, we won't. <laughs> we will not put a link to your old brownie troop. <laughs> oh, look at that weird cloud. Super dark almond. Almond cloud. Oh, it's like a storm almond cloud. That's a UFO. It might, it might be. They're creeping on us. Joe Rogan. I am getting hungry though. It might be about dinner time. Yeah. Five ounces. Nice. Just using the queso pot. No big deal. Little added melted cheese never hurt anybody. Put the water in, bring it to a boil. And it looks like we just throw it in here for 
15 minutes. Make sure to put the lid on there to keep the fuel efficiency uh, up to standard. Got my backpack as a wind block. This is all coming from right there. And then we're keeping it traditional. Old El Paso, super soft for burritos. We're having burritos. Where's my hot sauce? Oh, I didn't bring sour. We should have brought sour cream packets, but I do have some hot sauce. That's our combo tonight. There it is. Burrito mix. Sun goes Ooh. down. Burritos come out. Little black beans and corn Sun in there. Sun goes down. Burritos come out. I like that. That looks delightful. It does. I feel like I would just eat this. Oh, you could. Wow. But we have burritos. Burritos. Go for it, girl. No. Oh. oh man. Yeah. That. All right. Consistency looks good. Yeah. I didn't add too much water, which is nice. I almost made you bear bait. I'm so sorry. It smells amazing. And the winds calm down. It smells really good. Nolly, don't worry. You get uh, you get good dinner soon too. Oh yeah. Hot sauce. Hot oh, sauce. It's actually a little spicy. Is it? Yeah. Have a little fun. Live on the edge. Put a little of that on Which there. That'll be mine. Pour it. Perfect. You're not going to want that tomorrow. <laughs> but I want it today. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. My present. Wow. What the? Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for the star of burrito. And yours is going to be perfectly folded. <laughs> No, oh, this is delightful. Look. Yeah. He knows. Zoom in on that. Mm. Yeah, that means he's hungry. So am I. I smell the corn. I smell the corn. What a... You should put that on a shirt. Mm. I smell the corn. Mmm. Corn. This is really good. My mouth's on fire. Oh, I'm feeling good, though. That was awesome. I just want to make a note that my fire's still going. Take a seat, coffee's coming right up. There you go, it's hot. Thank you. Americano. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that view. Still there. I got biscuits and gravy, I got granola. It's easy, I just add cold water to the packet. There you go. Milk, blueberries, granola. Ooh. Beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty good if I remember correctly. Well, breakfast turned into brunch, which is kind of par for the course for us. It's 10.55 uh, a.m. We should probably pack this tent up. Sarah's already gotten into packing up the chairs. All the cooking stuff is away. Biscuits and gravy were good. Granola was good, coffee was perfect, 
and uh, now we'll just pack up. Empty campsite. The only difference is the fire pit is a heck of a lot nicer than it was before. Other than that, no trace. It's a little blustery out. The forecast assured us that today was sunny, clear, no rain. But I'll tell you what, it's gotten increasingly darker and windier. And Sarah actually got hit with a raindrop at some point. Wow, look at that. Nice. <sighs> so, right now, we're gonna backtrack to the main trail um, that got us up here. There's a little spur trail that comes up to this view in this shelter on Fifth Peak. And um, if we continue to loop, it's nine and a half miles. And I have seen some people do a bushwhack after they get to the last peak that cuts the, um, lake hike mileage in half that would put us at like six and a half miles cuts off like three i don't know if we want to do a bushwhack if it starts raining though to be honest i did forget sarah's pack cover so she'll be taking on some water weight if the uh, skies do open up yeah you're welcome especially with the ohm pack um, they have a roll top version, but this one is not. It cuts a little weight, but if you don't have a pack cover, rain goes right in your pack. So, I mean, we are hiking out, so it's not the end of the world if stuff gets wet, but it's not really ideal either. <laughs> Feel it out. I mean, the goal is to have fun, right? Not to prove anything. I got nothing to prove. Sarah's got nothing to prove. And we got a reservation at the Trout House tonight, which is 15 miles away. We got a cabin. Yeah, Trout House Resort. It's not a restaurant. Um, they just have a bunch of cabins right on Lake George that you can rent. Beautiful. That's place so that is nice. We have that to look forward to. Can't check in until 3 anyway, so I don't know. That was a really cool site up there. I think that's what's um, making it easier <laughs> to picture. But is it going to keep right now? I don't know. So you're walking in the direction of the loop. So it appears that's what we're doing. Now we do have the option of this bushwhack. We're going to check that out when we get there. But it's 11.45. We're going to go for it. Hope we make good timing. You know, this first half of, of the mileage is going to be the up and downs on the peaks. And then we'll probably make up our speed on the lake walk part. This is called earning that burger. Definitely could have done some camping around here. Hold on. You know what this looks like actually? This is, I think camp is straight up from here. Where we were. Oh really? Yeah, because this is that drop off when we were collecting firewood. Oh, okay. That right there. So camp is right up there. Just would not be very easy to get to from this direction. Oh, back in the muck. Oh yeah. Well, I have to hike now just to dry my shoes out. I believe we're actually in the pine trees that we were staring at from the bluff all night. Peninsula is definitely narrowing because this is the first time I can actually just get a glimpse of water on my right hand side. Cool. I know it's just constant. Like main vibes. Yeah. Constant views. Oh, hear that wind. I know. It's probably going to be windy at the point. Oh, yeah. Jeez. I think there's more wind on this side.
feel raindrops. That is steep. We're helping the dog here. <laughs> this is uh, some very steep sections and the rain is back again. And I managed to pull down uh, radar and there's some bands of pretty heavy stuff coming. They say it's only 20%, but my gut tells me I don't want to be on these rocks all day just trying to prove a point in that kind of rain. It's 1230. We went a little over a mile in the direction of the first point, the tip of the peninsula. Um, yeah, there's that rain. Uh, I mean, really, I think we should probably come back sometime and just we could knock this out as a really cool all day day hike instead of hauling these packs around on slippery rocks in the rain. Um, I just don't know if that's gonna be enjoyable. So I'm not gonna do it just to say I did it. So I'm gonna help Denali and myself and Sarah get back up these rocks that we just came down. And um, we're, we're just gonna enjoy the sights that we get. Um, Cause this is, um, this is what it is. Come on, Nolly. Hold him. I'll go up and then you can pass. Okay. You're going to stay with me. Let her go first. Okay. All right. Feel all right? Yeah. Good boy. There he goes. Good thing you got a handle in your backpack. Good boy. Oh, man. You good? I'm sorry. I didn't even offer <laughs> A hand. I'm good. This is a tough section of trail with a monster pack. But. I'm not gonna lie, I'm bummed. I know. I mean, I got it, but I'm bummed. I just think it's a smart choice. No, I got it. For safety and sanity. Uh, uh, she's obese. Speaking of safety. Nolly, he doesn't seem to care. <sighs> That's all right. We get to see everything from the other direction now. Going back out. <laughs> Sign us out. No, we're going back out. Doing uh, it again. This time faster. What do you mean? Just because it's bright and sunny now? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I still stand behind my decision. I trust you. I think we did the right thing. So, Sarah's going to cross off in here that we successfully extracted. Check. And Denali's probably going to pass out soon. We're going to go to the supermarket and get some food for our cottage. Looking forward to a nice shower and a hot meal that didn't come out of a bag, <laughs> you know. So I think that about wraps it up as the sun comes out even more behind me there. Of course. So that's all right. I had fun, Tongue Mountain Loop. Well, no, not the Tongue Mountain Loop. Tongue Mountain uh, experience was good. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll do the loop, but yeah. So, are we renaming the trail that? Yeah, I give it five stars for camping. That is for sure. Oh my gosh. Um, it was amazing. The view is great. And even the views we got on our little, you know, attempt at a loop today were, were good and worth the time. And we just happened to get back a little earlier than expected. So, until next time, I'm Syntax77. And right now, it's cheeseburger time. <laughs> <laughs>